Hello students, today we are going to learn the diagnosis and control technology of corn smut, an important disease of corn. First of all, let's understand the symptom characteristics of maize smut. Corn smut, also known as powdery mildew, is a local infection disease which can occur in the whole growth period of maize. Twisted stems and leaves in the seedling stage produce small tumors at the base of the stem and die in severe cases. Before and after dialing, tumors can be produced on leaves or leaf sheaths, and tumors on stems or aerial roots are generally fist-sized. Male disease. Most or individual florets form long cystic or horny tumors. Most of the female ears are damaged to form diseased tumors in the upper part of the ear or on individual grains, and the serious ones can reach the whole ear. Tumors are bacterial galls caused by metabolites, produced by pathogenic bacteria which stimulate tissue swelling, and thin films formed by host tissues. At the beginning of the disease, the tumor is white, juicy, and shiny. Then it expands rapidly. The inside turns black, and the surface is dark brown. After the outer membrane breaks a lot of black powder, winter spores are scattered. Next, let's continue to learn about the pathogen of corn smut. The pathogen of corn smut is corn smut, which belongs to Basidiomycota. Winter spores are oval or spherical, with thick dark brown walls, and spiny protrusions on the surface. The black powder in the tissue of corn smut is the winter spore of the disease. Occurrence regularity of corn smut pathogen mainly overwinters in soil and diseased residues and overwintering winter spores germinate under suitable temperature and humidity conditions to produce basidiospores spores and secondary basidiospores. spores. With the spread of wind and rain, it directly invades young meristems such as leaves, stems, nodes, auxiliary buds, male and female spikes from the host epidermis or wounds in the process of growth and reproduction. The pathogen secretes auxin-like substances to stimulate the infected tissues to proliferate and swell to form tumors. At last, a large number of black powdery winter spores are produced in a diseased tumor and then they are reinfected after being spread by wind and rain. The prevention and control of corn smut should adopt comprehensive prevention and control. First, agricultural prevention and control. Using disease-resistant varieties according to local conditions, Turn over the fields in autumn. Thoroughly remove the sick and disabled bodies in the fields and implement 2-3 year rotation into seriously ill fields. Reasonable closed planting. Avoiding partial or excessive application of nitrogen fertilizer. Timely irrigation and timely control of corn borer. Minimize insect damage or mechanical damage caused by farming. Second, chemical control. Seed dressing with diniconazole wettable powder. Theorem wettable powder and triadimethon wettable powder. Before the emergence of corn, Kindox wettable powder or triadimethon wettable powder can be used to spray on the soil surface. To eliminate the primary infection source, spray diniconazole wettable powder or triadimethon wettable powder before the tumor appears. That's the end of today's class. Thank you for listening.